Sorcerer River Geo is a magical warrior found within Stormvale Castle. He sells Ashes of War and helps the player against Margaret the Fell Omen before catching the Deathblight later in his quest. Wearing the magic boosting Spellblade set and his signature rapier, he's a helpful ally and one of the more friendlier characters in the game. But how would his build compete in practice against opponents both in the arena and bosses in the lands between? I'm Bite Sized Otaku, and in this video, we'll be exploring how Vegeta's cosplay could work and seeing whether or not we can make any improvements to take this build to the next level. But like the video and give it to me bite size. So Regia uses a Spellblade set, which increases the damage of Magic Ashes of War and skills by 2%, and this would give us good elemental resistances, but non-existent physical defense, although the drip makes up for this deficiency. Turning to his weapons, he uses Regia's Rapier, which I've infused with Dexterity, so he can utilize Scholar's Armament, and this comes with the Ash of War, Glintblade Phalanx. This is combined with the Astrologer's Staff, which we'll use to cast Scholar's Armament, Glintstone Pebble, and Magic Downpour. Because we're using a vanilla build, we won't be utilizing any talismans, but our improved version may find us making modifications to compete with the meta and optimize our chances for success. On our stats, I've gone for 12 Endurance, as we won't need much to roll around, but I've split the Dexterity and Intelligence so we can benefit from both our spells and Dexterity Scaling on the level 137 Astrologer. And in terms of combat viability, we have access to a Rapier that strikes quickly and has a brilliant heavy attack that performs a double thrust with great damage, allowing you to roll away before the counter attack. Your best option for using this weapon are running thrust and heavy attacks for heavily armoured enemies and regular thrust combined with other strikes for lighter players who you can stagger. Then we can use our staff to cast our spells which have varying degrees of effectiveness. Our Scholar's Armament will boost our damage even further, alongside giving us magic damage, and this does help with both our overall chances of winning, while making us look cool. Magic Downpour is somewhat questionable in PvP, as it's easy to avoid and does little damage, but in PvE, all of our spells and attacks will be effective in combat, helping us to take down foes with long range and close range options. But of course, we have a few issues, one of them being that we have no poise, meaning that trying to trade attacks is a bad idea, as we'll get staggered and killed when our opponent outdamages us during the exchange. Due to our low physical defense, we have to stay under defensive and strike without getting hit, which is tricky against heavily armored players, but helped by our light rolling. And despite our spell blade set, our damage output isn't anything special, and I think we could use better spells to help us counter different playstyles. So let's make some adjustments. Let's keep our armor and weapons the same, but infuse the Vogia's rapier with magic, and use the academy star for better scaling. Adding in Glintblade Chris, which is a brilliant weapon that casts a comet light strike at the enemy, followed by a thrust similar to Piercing Fang for high damage output. This weapon also goes perfectly with Regia's green fashion, and this will give us a powerful ranged attack that can close the distance and strike quickly. For our spells, let's use Shard Spiral, which has brilliant tracking and can apply pressure on enemies from a distance, combined with Kirby and Greatsword and Piercer, which provides us with a high damage strike or thrust, useful for catching enemies by surprise, and it fits the theme of the Spellblade perfectly. Our talismans are the Shard of Alexander, the Magic Scorpion Charm, Erdtree Favor Plus 2, and the Carrion Filigree Crest, which will boost our damage output and lower the cost of using our weapon skill. I've also modified the stats to boost our intelligence on a level 137 Astrologer, opting for more endurance for light rolling, and this will give us a better setup where we can apply pressure at a distance while being effective at close range with both quick attacks and larger ones for better damage. We maintain our light rolling, which will be useful for compensating our lower defense, and with the Magic Scorpion Charm, we're sacking that damage even further alongside our Shard of Alexander for bonus skill damage. But in the end, this build removes some of the more useless spells and swaps them out for better options while maximizing our magic damage to compensate for our low defense in addition to light rolling. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and of course subscribe. This is Bite Sized Otaku, and I hope you enjoyed.